Okay, so before I uh, show you how I weather the uh, coke ovens, which I said I was going to do, run a little series on that. I thought I'd just uh, uh, go through a little bit of my uh, my workbench, and as you can see at the moment, I'm taking this uh, Amtrak Caddo P42, and uh, I'm going to turn it into a Canada 150 um, uh, celebration uh, locomotive. So, um, you know, usual stuff, it's a complete and utter mess, got my cutting mat, um, if we look over here, this is where my paint storage is, so those of you who are familiar with uh, Vallejo will understand the different tops, obviously white for normal paints that, that need to be thin, thinned, the black one tops are the ones that you can put straight into an airbrush, and then the uh, yellow cap ones, these are the ones with a shaker ball inside, so if you makes it easier to shake because you, uh, you've you got a little more bearing inside there. Um, also got lots of uh, Tamiya uh, paints. I've uh, been, been using Tamiya for, for just about ever. Fantastic paints for uh, airbrushing. And what you do need is their, uh, their thinner. Don't use this thinner with Vallejo. It'll turn it into jelly. So uh, just uh, make sure you, 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 you avoid that. Um, but Tamiya paint's really good for spraying, really not good for um, hand painting unless you uh, really do um, thin them down uh, 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 from that perspective. So uh, also got some uh, powders, some Vallejo uh, pigments, and uh, also got some um, uh, ammo by Mig uh, colors. This is a dark wash, uh, engine grime, Thinners, um, dark streaking grime. We've also got some uh, chipping effects here and uh, scratch effects. So, you know, um, I do use the hairbrush technique, but actually, sometimes uh, you get a lot more control with uh, with this. I've also got the uh, the Mig uh, oil brusher um, uh, oils, um, much easier to put on uh, and use. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of. Uh, Microsol, uh, microset. Uh, it's got the complete set there, and then some uh, more washes uh, there. Um, and of course, uh, you've got to have your uh, pledge um, floor care, uh, which is basically an acrylic um, gloss. Uh, Eight dollars for that from uh, Canadian Tire, and that'll probably last me a uh, hundred years. Uh, isopropyl alcohol. Tamiya Paneline uh, 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 accent colors. Got uh, some Vallejo surface primer here as well. Um, I do use Rattle Can primer for sure, um, but uh, um, for you know some of the quality areas where I really need a good um, tooth for the paint, uh, I do use the uh, Vallejo um, paint there. Um, also got my uh, Vallejo uh, airbrush cleaner. Um, I do use Windex as well, um, but actually this stuff uh, also lubricates the airbrushes, so so that's uh, that's key too. And talking of airbrushes, I have a Badger uh, Renegade. Here's a lovely airbrush. Um, I've also got the uh, 105 Patriot, which is a really good. Uh, starter dual action uh, if you're if you're in the market for one um, and I also have this uh, Badger uh, 100 um, which is uh, really one that's used for in the old days before digital photography it was actually used for um, uh, touching up photographs so very 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 fine I've uh, got a point uh, one by needle in there so that's for, for, for very fine very fine stuff uh, clearly, for those of you that like uh, takeouts, uh, always save these little pots. Always really good for um, uh, uh, mixing paints, uh, etc. Definitely have to have your Tamiya uh, tape for for masking. This stuff is excellent. Um, doesn't allow the paint to run underneath too much. Um, Putty, obviously, as you can see at the back, uh, a range of paint brushes, um, lights, uh, plastic styrene, um, Q-tips, obviously, very, 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 very important. 
and then a range of um, uh, plastic cements. I've got the thick Tamiya uh, cement, but also use this a lot in terms of uh, extra thin cement. So um, yeah, that's my workspace. Obviously, paper towel. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, we move this around and have a look and see my uh, airbrush um, spray booth so I've got the uh, airbrush cleaner here got some turpentine in the back lots of little clips this is uh, for painting uh, small parts, as you can see, I've got bamboo shoots with either crocodile clips or um, these wooden uh, pegs that you can get from uh, any dollar store, and then obviously the cat scratch pad, so you can just rest these things in. Uh, all makes for a very um, uh, easy way to hold your small parts while you're while you're spraying them. What else? Obviously, got the scanner. Uh, really important to understand if the trains are coming plenty of lights and uh, magnification and uh, I've also got this light with some magnification too which is good and of course you need a comfortable chair with the amount of hours that uh, I spend here and obviously uh, above the desk for inspiration got some trains so a nice UP consist there and a nice CP consist here. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd share that with my EU first and, uh, and then we'll uh, take a look at uh, how I'm weathering the um, Coke ovens. So just in case if you were wondering how I uh, got that rather large wolfers kit in my uh, spray booth, well, this is my other spray booth. <laughs> so I built this one myself, so as you can see it's got a, an old kitchen extractor fan, two speed fan, lights, vents at the top, hacked through about 20 foot of cable so I can Hang that outside the uh, the man door here. Um, attached a uh, regulator here, uh, moisture trap, and then I can run uh, with this and this two airbrushes, and uh, I've got an inline uh, moisture trap uh, on there as well. Just in the middle, lazy Susan from IKEA. So. Uh, yeah, built the whole thing for about uh, $20. This uh, extractor hood was um, on offer, uh, cheap, came with a light. And like I say, the two speed fan. So up underneath, you can see, you just change this filter pad out and uh, give it a wash or chuck it away and uh, use a new one. So yeah, that just sits inside the uh, inside the garage. I've got my other toys, obviously. But yeah, so if you're uh, if you're looking for a cheap uh, solution, I know a lot of people talk about squirrel cage fans and all that sort of stuff, but I've been running one of these now for, oh, this is probably 10 years old, and uh, never had an issue with it. So, uh, but again, again, I'm just just really using uh, um, acrylics out here, not anything uh, dangerous like lacquers and stuff like that. So. I'm sure a few people will pitch in and tell me it's unsafe, but where I'm at the moment, I'm uh, quite comfortable with it. Cheers. So here's the uh, building, all uh, primed in black, and uh, in the next instalment, we'll start to uh, build up some layers and uh, get this thing weathered up so we can get it on the, the layout. So, see you next time.